how to connect newsletter sign up form in the footer or anywhere on your Shopify store to Klaviyo. Hi, my name is Andy. I'm the founder of Loan and this YouTube channel. Every week we are posting uh, email marketing related video, Klaviyo related video or on marketing videos. So stay tuned. And in today's video, I'll show you how to connect Shopify sign up forms to Klaviyo. First thing first, like this video I created a long time ago. Uh, I know it shows 2018, but it's even older and it's outdated. That's why I decided to re-record a new video. So first, let's go to Clavio. This is my Clavio demo account. And we need to make sure that code snippet is installed in your Shopify. So first thing, uh, go to integrations. Make sure your integration is active with Shopify. Click on Shopify. Click automatically add Clavio on site JavaScript recommended. If it's unchecked, make sure to check it and click update. Oops, no. And so now it's integrating, it's updating. Then go back to sign up forms. Click install code snippet. So it's working great. So here's my Shopify. This is test Shopify I use to do experiments. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, when I scroll down, this is my newsletter. Uh, so you go to online store. Oh, by the way, uh, just to make your life easier, after you install that snippet that I show you was integration automatically add that code snippet, you have to do nothing else. This newsletter is good and it's already connected. There's no extra action, uh, action from you required. If you want to customize it, just click on online store, click customize, click footer, newsletter, and add whatever copy you want to add to, to this part. Uh, just quick test, Andre. So here's my profiles. Those are profiles. Let's do Andre YouTube video at flowweon.com okay it's no spaces subscribe okay it's asking me if i'm not robot subscribe cool and let's wait here as you can see it just appeared there and it should be subscribed to newsletter list it's not shopify tags it's newsletter and for some reason it's not uh, connected to to my list but it should okay i'm not sure why it's not connecting to the list but so the the, the most important thing is get into your clavio and you can start marketing to them however if you still want to use a clavio form you can go here delete delete this remove content so it's not there anymore click save then go to your clavio sign up forms create sign up form let's do sorted embed let's do something like this select the list newsletter create a form uh, make sure it's showing on mobile desktop and make sure it's show to all visitors so this is very important because if you do it only mobile uh, and you checking right now it will not appear so click publish copy this code publish it should be green everything is good go back to your shopify go to back click on uh, online store teams edit code uh, password type in footer footer okay and we are looking for footer that liquid Okay, in this code, by the way, I'm not the coder, so, so, but this is like trick. So please follow me and trust me, you will do what I like the same way I do it. So click somewhere here in the window. So it's active, click command F or control, or I mean, whatever search is on the windows, uh, type in is uh, site dash footer underscore underscore hr so there's one option and 
two second one so we we need this one and go back to come on what is the code uh, here's the code go here and paste it here click save and refresh and as you can see it appeared here I mean of course you you need to modify it in Clavio I don't know like how you want to do a block you can add the text here um, demo 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 you can do this part where you do like I don't know like 300 300 pixels then I don't know like maybe you want to sign up at the bottom um, of course you have to modify it everything but you get the idea so right maybe zero I don't know like that publish and when you refresh it will be there so basically you install a code and you do all the edits on Clavio's site and it will reflect on Shopify site and if you want to move it somewhere let's say this form like down or up you basically have to play with the code with the positioning where to place it on the above or down below in the code i found this this place is the best one because it shows on like right out there under the other section like quick links or whatever you have and yeah so in case you have any additional questions please leave them under this video thank you